An Awkward Conversation in the Shadow of Mount Moriah, a 10 minute play by John Bavozo. Some time ago. Lights up on the road leading away from Mount Moriah. Isaac walks ahead of Abraham at a brisk pace while Abraham struggles to keep up. Slow down, will you? <laughs> nope. Oh, please. I'm over 100 years old. I think it's safe to say I'm done accommodating your limitations. Will you at least have a real conversation with me? It's going to be a long walk. Not the right I'm moving. Come on. Talk to me. Yell at me. Anything with this interminable sarcasm. What exactly is the right thing to say in this situation? You know, to my knowledge, they don't make a hallmark card for thanks, Dad, for bringing me to the top of a mountain under false pretenses, binding me, or almost turning me into a human sacrifice, but then only stopping because God's messenger showed up and was like, joke, lol, never mind. Isaac, I... You know what? Whatever you're about to say, tell it to the ram. I know you're upset, but God said... Are you... Are you really going to pull the I was just following orders card right now? I, I guess all I can do now is apologise. <laughs> you know what the worst part of this whole thing is? I can only assume it's the almost dying at the hands of your own father part. Uh, no. It's that for the rest of my life, I've got to live with the fact that the first man who ever tied me up was my father. I don't like when you talk like that. Oh, 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 are we sharing things we don't like about each other now? Because I'm not sure three days is going to be enough for me to get through my list. Isaac trips, falls and grabs his ankle. Son of a... Here, let me. Don't even think about touching me. But I'm your father. And stop saying that like it means something. Of course it means something. Huh? Sure as hell didn't just a few hours ago. Well, that's what I'm trying to explain. You, you think there's an excuse for what you did? What I almost did. That's a hair you really want to split. I'm just, I'm just saying we wouldn't even be having this conversation if... If God... They literally didn't intervene at the last possible second. I, I'm pretty sure this is one of those instances where your intention matters just as much as your actions. Oh, so you think God is the hero in this story? Hardly. So why don't you take it up with him? I intend to. Trust me, I, I have enough daddy issues for the both of you. I said enough of that. Isaac <laughs> opens his mouth to reply, but shuts it again without saying anything. Will you let me look at that ankle? You must. Abraham moves towards Isaac. Wait. What? Knife check. You can't be serious. Con ceremonial dagger concealed behind your back once. Shame on you. Con cer ceremonial dagger concealed behind your back twice. Fine. Satisfied? Proceed. Thank you. He takes Isaac's ankle in his hand. You really can be impossible sometimes. Is that why? Why what? Is that, is, is that why it was so easy for you? Because then you wouldn't have to listen to me run my mouth? Who said it was easy for me? I mean, it didn't look all that difficult from where I was laying, which... Need I remind you was on an altar? Well, you're wrong. You're my son. Of course I didn't want to do that to you. But when, when God commands you to do something, you do it. You make it sound so cut and dry. Easy peasy. Well, nothing about this. N n nothing, nothing at all about being a father is simple or easy. I mean, not committing... Fill aside seems to be the least difficult part of parenting to remember. One day, when you have children of your own... You really think I'm going to have kids? Why wouldn't you? Not like I've had an abundance of quality role models. I know what I almost did was 
inexcusable. But look, 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 no one's wandered down from a mountain with a guide for being a perfect parent etched onto stone tablets. Mm -hmm. So when an omnipotent being gives you a direct order, even if it's terrible and unthinkable. About that. Uh, about what? That clear and direct order you received. What about it? How was this very important message conveyed? In terms of? The medium is the message, Pops. God sent a messenger to stop you from straight up murdering my ass. Did he send you one to tell you to do it in the first place? Not quite. Care to elaborate on that? Well, it was more of a feeling, I guess, and deep inside. Oh, this day just keeps getting better. Come on. No, you come on. For once, I'm not the one who's being unreasonable. You, you were willing to kill me based on a feeling? Not kill, sacrifice. Wrong, Dad, because a sacrifice is something you're actually going to miss when it's gone. You, you have no idea how long your mother and I prayed for a son. You were the most wanted child on the planet. Apparently the most disappointing. No! Well, not exactly. Very convincing. That's not what I meant. I, I, I spent years imagining what your life would be like, who you would become, what great things you would accomplish. I think that's what all parents do. That's a lot of expectation to heap upon someone whose neck isn't even strong enough to hold up his own head yet. Ha! <laughs> yes, yeah, you're right, of course. But I couldn't help it. I've been on this earth for more than a century. I was going to get the chance to see everything in a brand new way through your eyes. Then why didn't you tell God no? Yeah, never, never occurred to me, if I'm being totally honest. I'm not a rebel like you, not like you. Besides, I, I think I knew deep down that it wasn't going to get to that point. If I recall correctly, you let the point get disconcertingly close to some very important parts of my body. But I, I had no true intention of ever going through with it. Then why the whole song and dance and... Because my faith was being tested and I had something to prove. To God? To him? Yes. And to you. You've officially lost me. I had to show God that I trusted him and would do whatever he commands. But I had faith that he never really intended for me to kill you. More faith than I had, apparently. Well, in your defence, you were kind of taken by surprise. <laughs> kind of. But, but your death was never a possibility. Not as far as I was concerned. But what if that messenger never appeared? Then I was prepared to... to do whatever I had to do to protect you. Including to find God. Hey, you, you thumb your nose at, nose at authority pretty much every day. I, I figured I could try it at least once. <laughs> ah, so this was a teaching moment. For both of us, I hope. No matter what you do, no matter who you become, you'll always be my son. The answer to my prayers. Uh, <laughs> oh. yeah, I, I say something funny. No, no. <laughs> it's, it's what you didn't say. And uh, no, that would be. You could have just said, I love you, son. Instead of taking me on a three-day hike that ended in a near-fatal bit of performance art? I, <laughs> I suppose that, that would have been simpler, wouldn't it? You think? <laughs> After today, I don't ever want to hear about how extra I am. Fair enough. <laughs> now, don't you think we should be getting on our way? Got a lot of ground to cover. You, uh... Feeling up to it. 
Isaac, with just a moment of hesitation, takes his father's hand and lets himself be pulled to his feet. Yeah, I think so. Just <clears throat> give me a minute. Good as new. Good as new, I think. They begin walking again, this time side by side. If it makes you feel any better, I've been broken up about this whole thing for weeks. <laughs> you imagine that you have been moodier than usual. I, uh, I assumed it was the prospect of having to spend so much time alone with me. Oh, the, the only bright spot of this colossally terrible trip has been having three days on the road with you. Getting to know you better. Everything I say offends you. I know. But I still admire you for saying it. Look at you, containing multitudes and whatnot. <laughs> now what? <laughs> I just, I just realised um, Mum is going to have an absolute conniption when she finds out about this. Oh dear God. You're right. I hadn't even considered that. You, um... You, you know, we, we don't even really need to tell her. We 100% do have to tell her. You've been fearing the wrath of the wrong deity this whole time. I hope you like sleeping outside with the goats. Ah, uh, I'll get used to it, I suppose. Can you at least not tell the goats about the whole ram slaughter situation, though? <laughs> Your secret's safe with me, pubs. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac puts his arm around Abraham as they both walk, laughing as the lights fade. <laughs>